Now, this marks the president's final Memorial Day as commander in chief. He laid a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier and highlighted the importance of remembering. The Americans who rest here and their families, the best of us, those from whom we asked everything, ask of us today only one thing in return, that we remember them. Senator John McCain, a Vietnam prisoner of war, spoke at the National Memorial Cemetery of Arizona, touching on not forgetting all the men and women who sacrificed their lives. While Congresswoman Martha McSally, a retired Air Force colonel, wore her uniform as she visited veterans at the Arizona Veterans Home in Tucson today, urging Americans to treat Memorial Day as less of a holiday and more of a solemn remembrance. If we could just spend a moment in the day to reflect on those who are protecting those freedoms that we have. We have the freedom to go shopping today. We have the freedom to have a barbecue and swim in the pool. We have a freedom to take a day off of work if you have a job. And we have to, I think, just take a moment and remind ourselves of those who paid the ultimate sacrifice in order to protect those freedoms. McSally's audience included veterans whose service reaches more than 70 years back to World War II. K Gun 9 in your sides, Craig. Smith has the stories of two of those men. B-17 bombers had to fly straight and level to their targets while fighters and anti-aircraft guns tried to make sure they would never make it. Adenito Chavez was able to shoot back from one of the most dangerous spots on the plane, squeezed into a ball turret so tight he could not wear his parachute. But sitting in the clear plastic ball gave him quite a view. I saw all the action and I saw the engines on fire. So I said, it's time to get out. So I got up and put my parachute on and took off. He spent 14 months in Stalag 17, an infamous German prisoner of war camp. The POWs kept working to escape to keep the Germans busy. We still fight, fought, fought while we were in, in, in the prison camp because they had to have uh, uh, guards to guard us. And the more I was there, the more guards they, they got, they had to put on. Hi, Colonel. Good to see you. 92 year old Henry Richards did the dangerous, dirty job of an infantryman in Italy, a foot soldier whose life depended on finding protection from flying bullets. It was mostly in, behind rocks, behind the trees, behind the tree, uh, trunk, and stuff like that. He was wounded in the hip and knocked out of action. It was nothing but danger, 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 danger because of my position as an infantry man. So, well, that's why I say there's no glamour in my, my position. And not like the Air Force, you're up there, the way that's the sea, do a good job, fellas. But both men outlive the danger. Now they are among the dwindling number of World War II vets who remember those sacrifices 70 years ago. Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.